Hey everyone, so quick video I want to show because I don't think enough people know about this feature. Um, so what I'm doing is a bit of backstory. I'm going through the GDX RVR template, which is on the marketplace on Patreon, and trying to rejig stuff to make it a lot more accessible. And one of those things that I'm changing is I'm removing some of the functions that I created in here. One, because they're not used, and one, because we can do this a lot better. So the idea is I want to remove this is flying movement function. So it is using flying movement from all the blueprints. So the idea is that I can change our character variables inside of my player, or we can duplicate it, and then it'll kind of rework for the whole thing, makes it so much easier. So if I try and delete this, we'll see that it says function is using flying movement is in use. Uh, do you want to delete it? I could do yes, but it'll break a blueprint. But the idea is so we can do no. And what I'm going to do is says I'm going to, with the blueprint open, I'm going to go to edit and then find blueprints. And now I can search for is flying or is using flying. And then if I hit enter, you can see here that we've got our function library. That's the one we already exist in. That's the one we're about to try and delete. And then we have character underscore VR character. So it tells us it's in the movement graph is using flying movement. So if I double click this, it'll actually open it up for us, but it's behind this window. So character, and it takes us straight to that blueprint. So now I can actually delete that and use it instead. So function library, I'm going to copy this code. Paste this in here. So if we're flying, we're going to go to true. And if we're not, we're going to use every other option. And we're going to add that in. So it might be looking like this is a bit more confusing if you've got the template already on the, the marketplace or the patron. But the idea is that what I can do now is with this change in data, there's nothing stopping me from being able to duplicate this asset character variables. And so character variables, let's say up viz. I could then set these settings to be an ArcViz template. And then all I've got to do is update this file. So uh, character variables, change it in here. And we now have a whole bunch of brand new presets that will switch around. So that makes it a lot more solid and adds a lot more reusability to the project. So if you, if you open a new level, there's nothing stopping you from changing that file on load. So you can have different levels, have different character types, and it all works through the same one. So that's the idea, but I just wanted to show off that tool for using the find stuff. So now because I've removed that, I can do delete. And it's saying I've still got it. Is it because I didn't delete it from somewhere else? So let's hit search again. Ah, I got it twice. That will be why. So delete that check. We can reuse that section. I thought it said weapon type. So plug it in. If we're using flying, then we go through. Save all. And then now back in that file, we can then hit compile, delete. And you see we've deleted that function from there. So my next step is to go through and figure this one out so I can remove this character variable from here. So that's pretty much it. I just want to show that off and how it's a, a useful tool for finding blueprints and just bouncing around different places if you need to. Cool, awesome. See you everyone, bye.